I hope you can hear the sound of what I'm chewing. It's nothing but it's ginger honey chips. Ginger honey chips. Now in the United States of America, everywhere you want, 862-215-2007. You can chew it like this, or better still, put it on your cocoa, rice water, oatmeal, you can put it in me, Akpadashi. Your whiskey, your brandy, anything you want to put it on it. It's so nice. <laughs> so nice, nice, nice. <laughs> oh my God. Ginger honey chips. 862-215-2007. 862-215-2007. It's your ginger honey chips. Get one for yourself. $10, free to go. Enjoy yourself. Thank you. <laughs> I hope you can hear the sound of what I'm chewing. It's nothing but it's ginger honey chips. Ginger honey chips. Now in the United States of America, everywhere you want, 862-215-2007. You can chew it like this, or better still, put it on your cocoa, rice water, oatmeal. You can put it in me, Akpadashi. Your whiskey, your brandy, anything you want to put it on it. It's so nice. <laughs> so nice, nice, nice. <laughs> oh my God. Ginger honey chips. 862-215-2007. 862-215-2007. It's your ginger honey chips. Get one for yourself. $10, free to go. Enjoy yourself. Thank you. <laughs> I hope you can hear the sound of what I'm chewing. It's nothing but it's ginger honey chips. Ginger honey chips. Now in the United States of America, everywhere you want, 862-215-2007. You can chew it like this, or better still, put it on your cocoa, rice water, oatmeal. You can put it in me, Akpadashi. Your whiskey, your brandy, anything you want to put it on it. It's so nice. <laughs> so nice, nice, nice. <laughs> oh my God. Ginger honey chips. 862 215 It's your ginger honey chips. Get one for yourself. $10, free to go. Enjoy yourself. Thank you. <laughs> I hope you can hear the sound of what I'm chewing. It's nothing but it's ginger honey chips. Ginger honey chips. Now in the United States of America, everywhere you want, 862-215-2007. You can chew it like this, or better still, put it on your cocoa, rice water, oatmeal. You can put it in me, Akpadashi. Your whiskey, your brandy, anything you want to put it on it. It's so nice. <laughs> so nice, nice, nice. <laughs> oh my God. Ginger honey chips. 862-215-2007. 862-215-2007.
is your ginger honey chips. Get one for yourself. Ten dollars, free to go. Enjoy yourself. Thank you. With that being said, I think it's here for Mohunsa Chipsiana. You already know the man that is in the house today. So without much ado, please let help me welcome counselor Neutra. Counselor. Hi, she. How are you? Yeah, I'm fine. How are you doing? That's good. That's good. That's good. Good to see you. Thank you're looking you. nice in that yellow outfit tonight. Thank hey, you very much. Charlie, we, 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 we see if they will come out. Um, you know that I anything like that. I wear regularly will be coming for my wife. If it's I a like, gift. I still say thank you to who gives it. But even when you give to me and she's not a proof that I should wear it, it will be very difficult. To wear. <laughs> so let me say a big thank you to my wife for giving me what to wear tonight. Actually, she said this is better. You know, sure. she doesn't know how the weather is, but she said, wear this. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I'm wearing it. And yeah, to be, it's better than to sacrifice. That's so thank right. you very much. And thank you for advertising our ginger honey chips for yes, us. Yeah. You can go winter. ahead and give some more details about yeah, that. Yeah, this is winter time. Don't miss it. Just get one for yourself and you feel the warmness inside. Don't wait till you break down. The singers in the place. Don't wait till your voice cracks mm -hmm. down. Chew them whilst you are strong. Don't wait to break down before you chew. So thank you for pushing it. And then we are waiting for the Heroes Night as well. I yes. think I have to go and come back for the Heroes Night. Oh, yes. But it's going to be a wonderful time in November. We will be ready to be part of it. Get your tickets. It's very important. This is table by table. So wherever you are, get ready, follow us, and then watch all the adverts on the screen. And go to the Dinkra Multimedia Portal and get your ticket. It's very important because I will be there. Yes. And it's going to be wonderful together with um, Kitty. It's going to be fun. And the heroes will be awarded. So it's been nice. I'm here and ready to serve as I always do. Nanya, Nanya, Nanya. And Kitty will be right here in uh, on um, a Dean Crack Heroes Night in Patch Hall. Please make sure that you do not take yourself out of it. If you haven't got your tickets, but your tickets in any anybody that sells any, any other tickets, then when you be a Dean Crack, it has to look like this. But our barcode and QR code as well. So for regular, it's hundred dollars. Super VIP, and you know, so we don't buy it, but now it's all double double scan. So please, for regular tickets, it's going to be hundred dollars, and it's happening on November twenty fifth. Please, no better man time from five pm to twelve am. And the whole concept of Edin Crack Heroes Night is to recognize all amazing people who was um doing great things and impacts in the community, the African diaspora as a whole, and people who are making great impacts. It's all to recognize them and to say more any of what yet at the past. So please make sure that you do get yours on for that event. All right. Awesome. So uh, before my turn, I think say my people want to hear from my counselor and and net in common um it's going to be really um, one interesting one. And for today's talk, uh, we're going to be focusing on the effects of parenting. Parenting, parenting. Um, parenting is a really great thing that um, every individual, before you were born into this life, there were certain people that gave birth to you, certain people that um, um, nurtured you, were there for you in your upbringing, in basic needs that you need as an individual. And then these are our parents. These are the God chosen people that we came to this earth through. However, not everyone got a smooth parenting, right? Not everyone got a um as fully nyanya a bum home woman to be some people also have to work very hard to attain and get what they want to get in life. So today we're going to be talking about parenting. What are some of the negative traits of um good parenting, the bad ones as well? How can we combat that as, a, as the individuals and then we can move forward as a society? So without much ado, uh, I'm going to be handing the conversation to Councillor Neutral so that he can go ahead and tell us a little bit more about this. So Councillor, um, when we say parenting, how what would you use to describe the word parent, parenting ideally? Well, thank you very much. Let me say a cherished good evening again to our discerning viewers, wherever they are. I think that... Um, the first thing you should hear is that if you hear the word parenting, 
it is an act of raising or rearing a child or mm -hmm. children. Simple. So when and when we talk about parents, mm -hmm. parents are where the producers of the child mm -hmm. are taking care of the child, giving the child his basic needs. So it is a male, a father, and a mother. Mm. But like the African adage says that it takes a village to raise a child. Mm. And we all believe that charity begins at, at home. home. Mm -hmm. So even though the parenting we are discussing here is about father and mother, mm -hmm. we will expand it to grandma, grandpa, and other members of the family. So parenting is raising a child or raising a child to become an adult. Okay. And remember, Parenting doesn't end. As long as you are born by a man and a woman, you will forever be parented. And where there are parents, there are children or there is a child. Mm -hmm. So if you ask me what is parenting, it's an act of rearing or raising a child or children to become okay. adults. Okay. So that's what it is. Okay. Okay. So <laughs> bless me. Being that in this act of raising um, children, do you think just anyone can raise a child? Anyone can bring a child into this world and raise it? Well, it's a very good question that it can, and yes, it's, it's a biggest yes for us. Why do I say the biggest yes for us? Um, it's a biggest yes because children are not supposed to be born by chance. Okay. But they are supposed to be born by choice. Hey, counselor, this this one, <laughs> this one that you're saying, uh, there are so many people that have had kids and they say, oh, a mistake. Uh, the child came out of uh, 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 maybe a and and a quickie bee and I will find it It came sort of how they say a mistake. I don't believe the child should come out of a mistake, but some people things happen. And the, it's, it's, it's out of the hand. So, so uh, you become a child as a result of an act of pregnancy. Mm -hmm. you, you'll be born because your, your father and mother had sexual intercourse. Mm -hmm. And because of the intercourse, that is why you have become a child. Mm -hmm. So if you are asking whether a child can be born by a mistake, yes, we shouldn't shy away from the truth. Okay. I said children are supposed to be born by virtue of choices, not by chance. Okay. So this quickie thing you're saying mm -hmm. could lead to pregnancy. Mm -hmm. Then they become by chance, not by choice. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately for us, the process by which you come has the tendency of affecting your well-being. Mm -hmm. That we can take away from it. Okay. Whatever you grow to be, seriously speaking, nobody knows the future. As I sit here, mm -hmm. I know the present. I have knowledge of my past, mm -hmm. but I wish for a future that I'm not sure of. Yeah. So yes, some children were born by chance, not by choice. Mm -hmm. So definitely, they'll be called a mistake children. And it is not a lie. Okay. And that is why when children are born even out of wedlock, they are called bastards. And it's if you check the definition of bastard, it means a child born out of wedlock. So it is not an insult. It's a description. It's a description. But you can be born as a bastard by proper parenting. You can be raised and not become what people will be looking out for because you were not born within the wedlock. Because you can still be parented mm -hmm. out of wedlock. Mm -hmm. Because parenting doesn't come as a result of marriage. And I'm going to tell you the type of pregnancies that produce children. Mm -hmm. So if we say children are supposed to be born, not by chance, but by choice. We have three forms of pregnancies. Per my research, 
And this is how I put it. Pre we, we have what we call the planned pregnancy. We have what we call the unwanted pregnancy. Now, when we talk about planned pregnancy, unwanted pregnancy, and people will not understand why you have a planned pregnancy. What is planned pregnancy? What is unplanned pregnancy? And what is unwanted pregnancy? So there are three forms of pregnancies. Okay. Planned pregnancy, unplanned pregnancy, and unwanted pregnancy. A planned pregnancy is where I am in, in a, a relationship and I have decided to be pregnant. Either by virtue of marriage mm -hmm. or the two of us are having talking jolly sana <laughs> nuke. And we know she can get is ovulated. Mm -hmm. She's not on the pill. Mm -hmm. And we are having unwanted sexual or unprotected sexual intercourse. Mm -hmm. And because the sexual intercourse is unprotected, the likelihood of it producing a child is, is there. Yeah. I was just sitting this evening and one, one sweetheart of mine just called me and said, hey, you know what I said? I said, what? Is it, can you imagine that my daughter just had a first menstruation? Wow. But I'm not happy. I said, why are you not happy? He said, because she's 10. Hey. No, 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 no. 10 years? Yes. How can you have your... The, 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 the first... Nana or America? <laughs> 10 years? Yes. You can have your menses at 9. The hormones can, can the hormones that produces menstruation can start at nine. Yeah, but for the majority of people, um, it starts like twelve, gets into thirteen, and then the teenage. Um, yeah, but she just hit it at at ten this morning, and she's menstruating now. She's a woman. Do you know how old Mary was? Mary was like very young. She was like oh. Mary was thirteen, mm -hmm. and gave birth to Jesus. So ideally, when a woman is thirteen years, but because of the laws we have stated, based on academic calendar we want people to run. We know that that's, that's defilement. We have sex with a, a lady that is below 18. Do you understand? So, I mean, she just told me the daughter, I started the street. I said, wow, she's a woman now. Mm -hmm. But she's not too happy that the daughter is having the message at, at 10 years. Mm -hmm. oh, my. But that's what she came to meet. She is, because the youngest mother in Ghana is nine years mm -hmm. and gave her to three plus. So you look at this, this, this scenario. So I'm saying that we have what we call the planned pregnancy. Mm -hmm. And planned pregnancy is where you're having sex unprotected and you know this act will make you pregnant. Mm -hmm. It is where married couple have planned to have their first born in the first two years of your marriage, mm -hmm. have their second born in the second two years of your marriage, space their children two years mm -hmm. so that the wife can really have the, the, the lycos like settling, blood settling, water settling. When a woman goes through labor and waits for the next 18 to 24 months and takes seed again, she recovers better and have a strength to push. Even if it's still CS, elective CS, yeah. it is, it's advised that the spacing of your children should be two years. Mm -hmm. It means that plan. Yeah. So planned pregnancy is what we call Children that are born not out of chance but by choice. Mm -hmm. What is unplanned pregnancy? Mm -hmm. Unplanned pregnancy is still people who are together like husband and wife, who within the plan of two years spacing of a child, mm -hmm. because they don't know what ovulation is, or they are not on the pill, or not doing coitus interruptus, that can fail. <laughs> <laughs> Counselor, um, they are not on the pill, they are not uh, using protection, or they are not doing what? Coitus, interruptus. Okay, I'm guessing that's the scientific name for pull out again. Oh, so you know what is it? Yeah. Oh, you're a good virgin. Oh, give me that say. So, <laughs> <laughs> which has failed a lot of people. Does that thing work? It has failed a lot of people. 
I have never practiced Quintus before. Quintus or Interactus have not. Because... But you know that, that in the Bible, somebody got killed for doing that. No, the person was not killed for the Quintus Interactus. So the person was killed for what? The children? Or no. he didn't want, because he didn't want to have a child with them. So them. you see, that scripture that the people have been saying that when you use condom, you will go to hell and all those things. That's not the reason. The reason was that the, the lady married the brother. The mm -hmm. brother died, and by tradition, they gave him the next brother to do. Now, when they married him to the okay. to the brother's wife, he accepted to continue procreation with the brother's wife. So, if you have accepted to continue procreation and you are enjoying the woman, mm -hmm. why, when you are ejaculating so that the woman can have a child, mm -hmm. you are pulling it out? Mm -hmm. So, he was punished not because he pulled it out. But he was punished for accepting the fact that he will continue procreation and is deceiving. Mm -hmm. So quietus interruptus is not a sin, and you will not be killed. Mm -hmm. That's why people say don't use condom because when you use condom, it's quietus interruptus. It's not true. Exactly. There's nothing sinful about using condom. It is part of the plan preventation, prevent prevention of unwanted pregnancy, STDs, and any other sexually transmitted disease or whatever. It is. So condom use is not a sin. Mm -hmm. So the pastors that are saying condom is the same. When you use condom, you are please stop this believe. scripture that you are using to tell people that it's the same. I don't want to believe there's a doctrine that people are using to say that we use protection during sex is the same. But why people don't even do it family planning? Yeah, but family planning, you are married and you are planning it. You don't even need to marry to do family planning. Family planning is not meant for the marriage. It's meant for every Everybody. sexually active person. Okay, so why are people using this as a doctrine to tell people not to um, engage in... Because they don't understand it and they don't want to learn. So they want to say what they don't know and they become liars mm -hmm. and they become negative preachers mm -hmm. because they are building... They are not doctrines. They are building dogmas for themselves. Mm -hmm. Because original doctrine... Okay. Uh, do you know who is the father of Moses? Nobody knows the father of Moses. But scripture says when Moses was in a situation, mm -hmm. God came to Moses and told Moses that I am the God of your father. Mm -hmm. So God knows the father of Moses. But in a story we read, when the mother of Moses was trying to protect Moses, the father was not there. And the mother didn't sleep with him herself. No woman gets pregnant by herself. Except somebody has sexual intercourse with them and deposit a spermatozoal in them. So I keep saying that no child is fatherless and there's nothing called single parenting. Delete it from the system. Wait, 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 wait. Counselor, uh, that, um, it, it would sound a bit controversial because um, a lot of women and men are raising children by themselves. And this is because... It doesn't make them single parents. So what does it make them? Ah, you are still a parent. I, I define... Yeah, you, are, you are one parent. You are not one parent. You have chosen... Parent. You are not a single parent. It's a choice. S single parenthood is not a choice. It is. There are some people who are married and their husbands or spouses decide to leave them or decide to find other people that they want to build life with. How do you choose to raise a child by yourself? That's... So I'm saying it's a choice and I'll explain. Okay, please do. So let me finish with the three types of pregnancy. Okay. So I'm saying that I've given you the first one, which is my choice, plan. And the unplanned mm -hmm. is that I am with my wife. And we've decided that our son is not yet two years. Mm -hmm. So we're having quietus interruptus. We're using all the methods. Mm -hmm. And unplanned pregnancy come because mm -hmm. we are married. There's legitimacy for you to have a child. Nobody will beat you because it's not unwanted. But by the plan we have, you have gotten pregnant at the wrong time. For example, mm -hmm. you are breastfeeding yeah. your baby. Then all of a sudden you get pregnant. It's the wrong time. True. True. The reason because scientifically, the buildup of the breast milk for every child mm -hmm. starts, the hormone that produces breast milk starts when you take seed. So the production of the breast milk is, is, is calculating to be formed with the three layers by your ninth month and two weeks. Okay. So before you complete the ninth month, your breast milk has been produced. Yeah. 
all the three layers. Now, this is what happens to the baby. You are breastfeeding and you get pregnant. It means that the type of breast milk, the breast will start producing milk that is not supposed to be taken by that child who has already finished the layers and is drinking the original one. Now, those who will not understand what I'm saying, as a mother, just express the breast milk and put it down. You can see that it forms three layers, light, lighter, and deep. So that is how it is in your chamber. That is why we are breastfeeding your child. We tell you that make sure that the, the child will suck in now because there are times that the first one they suck, it's difficult for them to meet the original one, which is the last layer. So once your pregnancy, you are pregnant, all of a sudden you are producing breast milk. So unwanted pregnancy comes in when you are breastfeeding. All of a sudden, the child is not going to where you are supposed to stop breastfeeding. You've not done your two years of exclusive breastfeeding. Then you get pregnant again. So the pregnancy begins to produce a new breast milk. Now, this type of pregnancy you got was not planned for. Even though you had a husband, even though the two of you know that you can get pregnant, this one, you are preventing it. Maybe your husband ejaculated outside the condom. Or you're, you are using a female condom mm -hmm. and your husband put his male organ at, at the other side of the condom instead of inside the condom. Or maybe you are trying to do a calculation, which most of you don't know what ovulation is. People don't know ovulation at all. I know you know it because the last time I came, you made a mistake, but you learned. Ah. <laughs> what mistake? You know what? I, you remember that day? Mm -hmm. So okay. what's ovulation? Your woman? I, I mean, no, these things, I don't know why most of you believe that when we ask what is ovulation, mm -hmm. it becomes difficult. We are not asking what is your ovulation. Yeah. I'm saying what is ovulation, not your ovulation. Okay. So tell us as a young no, after you, girl. You are the counselor. You, you no, but, but you're a young girl. Uh, you're not old no, woman. So I, what I is ovulation? Young girl, young girl. So it's a process by which uh, nature, um, the natural eggs inside of a woman um, begins to build up and then um, it forms inside of a woman. It's a natural process. So how do you observe your ovulation as a woman? Um, you should know. Um, how before before is every every woman should know their period cycle. Mm -hmm. Um, and be able to calculate when. So I give my period cycle. Okay, so when is your? Period I menstruate cycle? five days. <laughs> okay. So I finish my menses on the fifth. Okay. So when is my ovulation? Your menses is on the. I finish my. I saw my last droppings on the fifth of October. So when is my ovulation? Okay, so ovulation typically begins after. Um, four or five days after your period. So four or five days after your period, yeah. ovulation begins. Yeah, after yeah, after a week, your ovulation will begin because so the when egg you, has so, now been. Gone. So you are telling me that mm -hmm. me, I finish my 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 menstruating on the fifth. Uh -huh. So four or five days is when. Six, seven, eight, nine, nine. Nine mm -hmm. is ovulation, and ovulation means eggs are ready to meet spermatozoa to make babies. Is that not it? Yeah. That's what ovulation means. Yeah. Or what's ovulation? Because even after the ovulation, um, after the period, there's a free period where you. So what you are telling me that? No, then my calculation is wrong. So you see, you can get. So you see, you can get pregnant. So if you use this one right now, you can get pregnant. Uh, I miscalculated. So people have unwanted pregnancy by miscalculation. Yeah. So you are married. It doesn't give you license to have sexual intercourse just any time. So ovulation is simple. Yeah. The 10th day after the last droppings of your menstruation. She can get, keep this, this is the last time I'll teach you this. Teach me. I have made it very simple for you. Mm -hmm. You can't find it in any book because I've not written a book on menstruation yet mm -hmm. and ovulation. Yeah. Ovulation is the 10th day after your last day of menstruation. Mm -hmm. So I finish my menses on the fifth. Five plus ten is what? 15. So on the fifteenth is my ovulation. Mm -hmm. However, the spermatozoa of an active man like me mm -hmm. have the tendency of staying for seventy-two hours in a woman's body, in around the ovaries. Mm -hmm. So once the seventy-two hours when I ejaculate in you, mm -hmm. we say we say this. We don't know that you might not be sure of your last day, like I see on the faith. Mm -hmm. Some believe it's on the faith, but on the faith, I saw something small on the sixth. So they are not sure of the last day. Mm -hmm. 
We said because the sperm can stay with you three days, which is 72 hours, some are doing 10 days, then observe this 15th day mm -hmm. minus three mm -hmm. plus three. Why minus three? So you are expecting to ovulate on the 15th. Mm -hmm. And I have sexual intercourse with you on the 12th. Mm -hmm. Because the sperm will stay three days. It will wait 12, 13, 14, and enter the 15th. So a lot of people who don't know the calculation are waiting to say, I will not have sex on the 15th because it's ovulation. But unfortunately for them, a strong-headed spermatozoa that has head and tail will swim and will hit the 15th and they become pregnant. There are others that they are looking like they're on the 15th at 6 a.m. But on the 15th starts 12. So we were having sexual intercourse around 11.55. And we're in the act that he ejaculated around 12.01. You are pregnant. The gate of ovulation works by Kairos moment. <laughs> when the gate opens. That is why those of us who are, I, I am a fertility counselor. Those people who are buried and we are working on them to get pregnant. We give them times and seasons to penetrate. Okay. Unless the spermatozoa of your husband is low. And we have three forms of sperm. No sperm, low sperm, and normal sperm. The normal sperm has a head, a tail. It can wiggle and go and meet an egg. The low sperm count are sperms that have no head. Mm -hmm. So they can't swim, but they can move. They have no tail. So when somebody is moving, then they move along. Okay. So your husband's sperm, the sperm count will determine whether you can have an unwanted pregnancy. So you are ovulating. Most people are, have sex when they are not ovulating. And they believe there's a problem. Check your shadow. Check your shift. Anytime your husband is supposed to have sex with you for you to be pregnant, you are on shift. So you have sex and the good sperm is thrown away. So ovulation is the 10th day. But because the sperm can stay within three days, 72 hours, we say don't have sex three days before. If you will do, rather do it protected. But the D day itself is on the 15th. If I'm using my menstrual cycle, for example. Now, you might not be sure of the right day. Some of you will say that, yes, on the 15th, but on the 5th, no, be be by. And they observe the 15th, but maybe 6th, we be 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 by. So we say, can you add three days to it? So ovulation is the 10th day after your menses, but it is minus 3 plus 3. So you look at it that because the sperm can stay three days, minus 3 by 3. When people miss this thing, then they have what we call the unplanned pregnancy. Okay. So they have a legitimate husband, a legitimate sexual partner. They have planned not to have a child now. Mm -hmm. So they are practicing a particular method mm -hmm. of not allowing the sperm to go. But all of a sudden, because they didn't plan it well, they have what we call the unplanned pregnancy. The last one is called the unwanted pregnancy. Okay. Counselor, before you quickly get into the unwanted pregnancy, you know, there's some women who have irregular men menstrual cycles and it comes today, it comes this and that. So it's like, it's not, it doesn't have a timeline that it follows all the time. So for women who get pregnant or who are having sexual intercourse within these and they know that, okay, this is my safe period, this is my relation period, and they end up getting pregnant in their safe period, then what is Nobody gets pregnant, pregnant in your safe period. No, if the period is irregular. So it is not, you've not got, your period is irregular. What do you call irregular menstruation? That thing they say is a lie. What is irregular menstruation? Ah, no, 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 no. So we have hormonal imbalances. So let me tell you what happens. Okay. So we have what we call the hormonal imbal imbalances. Yes, that, that comes as a result of stress, dieting, environmental change, exercise. So when you have an imbalance in your menstruation, mm -hmm. it means when I, you see, and this is what happens. So you have 35 cycle, 28 day cycle. And I'm doing the 28 day cycle. So this is what happens to menstruation. Menstruation can never change beyond seven days. Plus or minus. Mm -hmm. Most of you say it's in regular menstruation. And I don't understand you. So I started my menses October, September 30th. And I entered October. 
And I did five days. So I finished on the 5th of October. But I started the menses on the 30th of September. I get to the picture here. Yeah. I'm expecting my menses again. Mm -hmm. But I look at myself that I finished my menses on the 5th of October. Okay. Even though I started the 30th of September. And by my 28th day cycle, the next, if you're watching me and you are doing your calculation, your next message is going to happen again on the 30th of October. Then they say I've menstruated two times. Hmm. Should I explain to you again? Explain, because there are people who use five Your last message, okay. so calculate it right now and count whether it's one it on the 28th. I had my message. It started on the 30th of September, which is last month. Uh -huh. But I finished on the 5th of October. Mm -hmm. So my next menses, I'm expecting it minus seven plus seven. Mm -hmm. So if you do minus seven of five, mm -hmm. it will go back to September 29th. Okay. So on the 29th day of October, I can have my menses. I didn't menstruate two times in a month. Okay. Okay. I, 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 I get it. I, I get it. I get that it. is where people are getting a confusion. That once I finish on the 5th of October, October should not give him menstruation again. Mm -hmm. It should be November. Mm -hmm. But if you are sitting down and October 30th has come mm -hmm. and you don't have your menses, because it's plus seven, 30 plus seven go hit on the fifth, on the second. So there are other people that because menstrual cycle is minus seven plus seven. Hear this. So I did on the 30th and ended on the fifth. When I'm expecting it the next month, mm -hmm. I'm doing minus seven mm -hmm. of my last day of menstruation. So five minus seven will take me to 29. Mm -hmm. So I'm expecting my menses, if it's going back again to the original, 29th October. Mm -hmm. Now, if it's plus seven, mm -hmm. then plus seven means the day you finish, which is the 29, the, the day I finish on the fifth, plus seven. So 29 plus seven is what? Five. So I can still have a menses on the 5th of November. It is normal cycle. In regular menstruation is when you are supposed to ovulate and then your hormones do what we call the crisis and brings you a case to have your menses again. Now, that one observe. You see people don't know women. You are supposed to weigh your menstrual part if you are using a part. Know the weight. So that when you're having menstruation and some, there's even between bleeding and menstruating. What? Bleeding and menstruating. Explain. They're not the same. Explain. Are you menstruation is not bleeding? So what is it? It is a breaking of an ovulated egg. So shedding off of blood as a result of an ovulated egg is different from when you are bleeding. Okay, so what is how would you describe bleeding? Since you just mentioned when you say you are bleeding, it means there has no timelines. The volume is great. The woman in the with the issue of blood in the Bible till today, there have not been any scientific research to prove what type of sickness she was suffering from because she's she was bleeding for 12 years. So people should know the difference between bleeding and menstruating, otherwise, you pass off. So watch the volume of your menstruation. And because it's a shedding of blood through the vagina walls, what happens to you here is that it is shedding will come in a certain volume. And as you are ending it on your last day, yeah. it should start seizing. Then you dry up. But with bleeding, you don't see any change. Now, the smell of, there is a particular smell the ionic smell from menses doesn't appear in bleeding. Okay. So the smell of your menses should tell you this is menstruation, this is bleeding. Now the 0 0.5 five seconds of a clotting profile of every individual on earth. When, when, when you have a cut right on your finger, the blood is supposed to clot very fast. Yeah. That's vitamin K. Mm -hmm. That's why those of you who do more garlic direct, we advise you to be careful because garlic is a blood thinner. 
and reduces your protein profile. Mm -hmm. A lot of people say garlic is really good for your health, and I mean, we're not saying it's bad for your health. It is a black thinner. Um, okay, good. Thank so you. it helps you deal with clotting. But if you do it too much, then your clotting profile mm -hmm. is lost. And when it gets lost, then you need vitamin K. Do you know why when a woman finishes delivery and we retain placenta, the first injection we give is vitamin K for clotting. <laughs> so there's no between bleeding and menstruating. Sorry, viewers. Because of pregnancy, that's how we're explaining this thing to sugar again. Because we don't want her to become pregnant or wanted or unplanned. <laughs> so when you miss, you say, I, I have menstruated twice. I have irregular menstruation. Simply put, it means that your date has changed. The fact that you are menstruating 30th every time, it can change. And the change, when we say it's irregular, irregular is when it's beyond your seven days, plus or minus. However, medication can affect your menstrual cycle. Exercise, stress, joy, sadness, mm -hmm. mood swings, mm -hmm can affect your regular menstruation. Mm -hmm. But watch this secret. The anatomy of the human body, how God created you. If you are anemic and you don't have enough blood, your menses will not come regular. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So if you are watching me and you can remember that a certain time I didn't menstruate, you need to check your hemoglobin profile, your HB, that within the, the 11, the 12 to 11, are you having a proper HB? God is not a fool. If you don't have enough blood, you won't shed it. Yeah. So, men is not time they do. A back to every night, Jaimin Tias, yeah, me call you a test, and so me, you know, it means who they are, but I'm confused. I'm not pregnant, but so go and check your HB. And when you go and check, they'll tell you you're anemic. So when you start any blood tonic properly, then the menstruation will flow. So every woman should make sure that your HB profile is correct. Otherwise, you have that challenge of what you will call irregular menstruation. And the danger in irregular menstruation means that you are not able to ovulate so that you become fertile and become pregnant. Because if you don't menstruate, you can't be pregnant. So women, not every woman can menstruate. So I guess those are the... Um, so if you don't menstruate, you can't... The, the menstruation is... Menstruation means you are shedding off ovulated eggs. So you are ready that you have, you have laid the eggs. Mm -hmm. But the eggs didn't meet a spermatozoa to cook it to become a being. It's a baby and I a bean. <laughs> it's a bean, it's a fetus. So that is what you can say. But when people are barren, mm -hmm. we, we will discuss, before I leave, we'll discuss causes of barrenness. When you are barren, the factors of you being barren has different things. So people are menstruating, though, mm -hmm. but they're not able to put to birth or they're able to give birth. They have so many challenges. Mm -hmm. You might have some challenge with the fallopian tubes. You might have some challenge with some particular... Um, Issues of myomes that are, which is what you call fibre, or preventing the fetus to fall. You might have challenges with, even though you are menstruating, your ovaries are not producing healthy eggs that can meet spermatozoa. And you can also have a challenge of a man sleeping with you whose sperm is not correct. It is normal water. Okay, so counselor, how will you tell um, our viewers what are some of the foods um, they can eat to begin with ladies that can boost um, the hemoglobin? Um, levels, um, like foods that contain potassium, look, iron. Look, um, you any iron type food, and our which, normal, uh, our contemporary, normal contemporary is spinach. solid. Yeah. I mean, I mean, there's a spinach here, so what yeah. about this? So, mm -hmm. contemporary, yeah. and then this local abedro, what do you call it? There's an yeah. English one, that's small around, around no, so that's small ones, but it's a course, something, something P. Yes, that small thing has yeah. higher level naturally of producing it now. You also want to check your vegetable protein as well. Mm -hmm. Anything that can give you blood, go ahead for it. But remember, your body contains 75% of water. So reduce the juice and do more water. Uh, America had a juice, no joke. We're not supposed to So do water. Mm -hmm. Because water will also help you flow the blood. And the fact that you are clotting constantly when you are menstruating 
also have an, a, a, don't just take it for granted. Mm. Seek the medical attention if you constantly clot when you are menstruating. How big should a clot look it, like? Once it's a clot. No, but you know, um, the size, I read somewhere that if it's bigger than the size of a pea, those green green peas. My, like, my sister. Or a blueberry, then my there's sister, a portion. Once you are clotting, mm -hmm. seek for medical attention. Okay. So the period shouldn't clot at all? It should just come We didn't out. say it shouldn't clot at all. But okay. once you see a clot, uh -huh. seek for medical attention because when you are clotting while menstruating, mm -hmm. there are many factors that I cannot sit here uh, as a licensed practitioner to tell you so that so we, we don't want to put fear and panic in the heart of anybody so that hey okay i say who clutter not just say when you're five blood okay i say who clutter not just say why i say i say who to me who be on that chain? no that's not what i'm saying so with all these factors somebody can miss this and be pregnant on plan what is unwanted pregnancy if i've answered your menstrual cycle questions are you okay with the menstruation yes yeah. So people should learn that if you want to have a child in future, let your menstruation be very important to you for women. So that's why my, my friend's daughter at 10 has started menstruating mm. and she's happy. And a friend just sent me that in UK, the daughter started menstruating at 8. <laughs> Is yeah, the story? Yeah. Eight. He said, yes. Eight years old. Yes. He said, oh, yes. I, he said, I, I got, I have a friend whose daughter menstruated at eight years in UK. That's that's just because... So if you meet a girl who started menstruating at eight and she's 30, she's not yet had a child. Me, I'll say you've done well. That's a big disgrace for me. No, babies, as, as much as you may ovulate and menstruate and all of that, babies are not like, for some people it's more spiritual reasons why they are not conceiving. Or you keep your spiritual reasons why you are still married. But I'm saying that <laughs> I will applaud you that you have you have your ability from eight years. Mm -hmm. Eight plus eight, 30 minus 80, 22. So for 22 years, calculate how many times you have used part and you've not been able to be pregnant. Why are you? But it's so sad that you find yourself when you want to now make babies and it can't come. Mm -hmm. So when your daughter gets, gets her menses at eight and 10, it's a serious issue for you. In this generation where parenting has become a problem, where boys don't have patience to wait, the first thing they ask for is sex. The last thing they ask for is sex. The middle thing they think about mm -hmm. is sex. Then when your daughter starts menstruating at 10, you are scared. Go on, sha. Me and him no longer. So it is better that when your daughter starts menstruating at 10, immediately when she is 12, 13, put her on the pill. So that by mistake, if she meets any erected male organ that is not qualified as, as a planned pregnancy, she won't bring you an unwanted child. So an unwanted pregnancy is a pregnancy that happens as a result of sexual intercourse that is meant for fun and ends up to be baby making. So I miss you again, we're having fun. This act of yeah. sex is meant for pleasure. All of a sudden, sometime. Mm -hmm. Me, you, me, where do you mean? I will not terminate this one. Mm -hmm. This one, this child will be born. Yeah. This child will be born, and you don't know what she's. You see, when people tell me that, you don't know what this child is bringing to the world. I am not God. I say, hey, hey. Hey, 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 hey, hey. Because you really do not know what the child is going to be. Probably the next president of Ghana, the next president. Do I think I What would you say? Eh, trying say you don't know what is going to become future. You don't have no idea what you say. You don't want to plan your life. Min kas, min kas, the emergency no. Sorry, nako, just go and do anything you like. No, I'm talking about unwanted pregnancy. Why are you not pregnant? Because I don't want to get pregnant. So if you don't want to get pregnant, you get pregnant. It's unwanted. True. And the child is unwanted. Yeah, but. You do not heed the child, you do not abort. So it. don't tell me, say, open him, the other show be the action team. When you have a water pregnancy, <laughs> when you are going to ask, say, did you ask God that this erected police and go to the new seven and now? No, counselor, no, who, 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 who is going to do that? Why, why the couple be saying, they won't do that. 
Aname pa. Obika to se. Obika to se. Tama brante ni dimi. Minyantin ke bi se we die. E obrimpon e die ni e dimi. That's loud. <laughs> Listen, people, keep the dial right here at Incra Multimedia. We have 147 people streaming right now on Facebook, 42 shares. Counselor is still teaching us, so please, Counselor, we're taking it back to you. Please put your comments. I see people commenting a lot on Tina Sapong, James Aday, um, uh, 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 a whole bunch of you, Charles Jimpy. Um, shout out to you all that tune in and please bring in your questions. Counselor, we're taking it back to you. So the issue is that if you watch carefully, we are going to, we are talking about parenting, but how the child comes is very important to us. So you can have a pregnancy that is unwanted. Once it's unwanted, the struggle you go through, and let me tell everybody, look, if you grow and you find your father to be prominent, mm -hmm. solid, mm -hmm. a good father to you, thank your mother. Hmm. Okay, please re re repeat that. If you grow as a child and realize that your father is prominent, a good man, a solid, presented human being representing God on earth, thank your mother. Why? Is that? Because it is a woman who determines who the father of the child should be. Hmm. Okay. Okay. The same way when you grow and see that your father is as useless as a mop, blame your mother. Ah, uh, blame. Mm, I guess. Mm. Blame mother saying. Like, ah. Because some 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 people are really great men, great boyfriends, but they are horrible fathers. See, ah, so fathers if, role is different from being no, 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 no. Why are you telling they are horrible fathers? I don't understand you. Mm -hmm. Okay. So say in the relationship they were there for you, they would do this, they would do that. When a child comes in, it's a whole different Is he a planned child and a wanted plan? Both on plan. Both. No man will have a planned child with you and you become useless. So you are going out with me. Mm -hmm. again. You are going out with me, counselor. Mm -hmm. I meet girls who tell me that I'm not ready to marry, mm -hmm. but I want to have a child with this man. Mm -hmm. You ask them why. I said for the future of my child. Hmm. Okay. I, I didn't Do you know what I'm coming for? Looks or what? Not just look, they're looking at prominency. There are names that when you have a child. If, if you have a child with Obama, do you know what a child means? He is not an automatic president, but a good name is better than riches. They are names that will open doors for you. They are names that when you mention, they get up and they salute you. Kofi Annan, may he so rest in perfect peace. But the name Kofi Annan has clearance. Sure. True. So women who can see into the future. No, they are, I, yesterday I was watching a video of a guy who said he has been in America for 30 years. He's begging on the streets. Who brought wow. him? The mother brought him here. Look, you are born here. When your mother was pregnant, a certain man who was not married to her was sleeping with her. She got pregnant. And the man said, don't worry. I am a minister of state. I am so, 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 director of this thing. But I want you to go and deliver this child off the shores of Ghana. So looking at your face, not too beautiful, not too presentable. You are a citizen of America by birth mm -hmm. because your mother went through the process mm -hmm. that he didn't just meet a man, but accepted to drop you here and to only be your America. If you grow and become a useless child, what Jimmy? Counselor, <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> I think I won't allow you to say that. Well, you've already said it, but still cry. I disagree. That you go and insult your mother. Uh -huh. and, and you'll be on a woman who got pregnant mm -hmm. in the village, mm -hmm. but struggled to drop you in the city and the town that is 200 years in, de in democracy. Mm -hmm. You grow and curse your mother in America and become useless. What do you mean? No, counselor. Some, some, some children grow up with certain um, um, negative traits around them. Society plays a, a major role in this. If you have a friend on you and on you around gang violence, on you around... Hello, hello, hello. Forget about those English. Ah. You know where parenting begins? Uh -huh. And I've not started my lecture on parenting. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just, just about the really... process of having a child. Uh -huh. And I'm telling you that when you grow and realize that you have a father mm -hmm. whose name alone gives you clarity, me, 
me, Lutrot, my name alone is clearance. Because every human being, when they mention your name, there are two things that comes into your mind. Either you are good or you are bad. Okay. Simple. When they mention your name, there are only two things. That your name has a record of good or the record of bad. So when a woman is determined to have a better future for a child, they don't just ask for any male organ to impregnate them. So I believe that when you grow and realize that your father is despite, even if the despite didn't marry your mother, thank your mother for allowing the man like that to impregnate him. Uh, how? Counselor, no. Okay, if, if we're going for namesake, then I get it. However, if, if a man of such caliber still does not play the fatherly role, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter the name. That you see, we'll come to the fatherly role because you don't know who a father is. You know who a father is? Yes. Who is your father? A father is an individual, a, a male figure that has has been there um, for a child emotionally, financially, and mentally. So when a man is not there emotionally, financially, mentally, he's what? Are you daddy? Are you daddy? You're not father. You see your problems? What problem? This is why parenting has become difficult. And I think we'll not finish parenting here today. Okay. Yeah, I, I think next time I'm going to bring some few more people to join on. You can even bring the whole America. Yeah, because I think we, we need Well, we'll speak the point. truth and we'll set to go free. But hear this. If you define a father like the way you're defining him, mm -hmm. then we'll never stop having wayward children. And we'll not have mothers beating their chest to no saying that, I single-handedly took care of this child. But they did. So, but if you, you'd never single-handedly took care of the child. And, and the funny thing is that most of these unwanted pregnancies, majority of the ladies even end up not even naming the child properly. No. <laughs> Counselor, no, I beg to differ. That you grow and you're writing your grandfather's name. Your mother's name is what you're writing. Okay. I, I, your I, I, destiny is shattered for the rest of them. That no matter how rich your grandfather was. No, I, no, I, 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 So out of the unwanted pregnancy, people use anger to do a lot of negativity, and I'm saying that parenting begins from pregnancy. You don't wait till the child is born before. The, the way you get pregnant determines the parenting of the child. And to tell you, when Jimmy Nibisha on the inside, it's about Jimmy Nibisha. I don't want you to look at No, counselor. <laughs> no, 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 no. Um, sometimes, eh, a man will be home with me, say, a branch, um, say, a bofrabim, not say, eh, you raise each children, their, their mentality, their perception about things, it's not going to be right for the child. Mommy. Yes, Papa. Or baby, I would die a bit money. What do you And you're the baby, I'm a bit money. Was only that. Yeah. But some be a man. You have only one day to get pregnant. Are you aware? Mm -hmm. But me, I have no timetable for impregnating you. Mm -hmm. My sperm is active every second. Mm -hmm. I produce sperms in 24 hours. Me use only me da. It go into taho poti. Shout out to Councillor Yeri. Shout out to you. So, if anybody should guard themselves mm -hmm. from children in entry into the world, it is not a man. It's a woman. So, I'm saying, okay. if you hit this earth mm -hmm. as a human being and realize that the man who is called your father is useless, blame your mother. Okay, so then, who could be some mommy question? Say, I didn't know, oh, mommy, papa, yeah. Um, said they're useless. Um, nah, I say, um, 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 useless man, you know, no. It don't all be so much. It's a question. Me break what? And yeah, me be break a sense. Um, me am prayer. Ma, obi a when you nyame in the nation. Okay, I get that. I get the angle you're coming from. Yeah, there are people who despite is taking care of by doing their children. You know why? Yeah. I am a friend to despite. I've impregnated you. And that's why he knows me. Mm -hmm. And then you go and say, I remember. That's a bachelor. Oba Bemanu. 
So actually, despite he's taking care of my child, not because he impregnated him, by virtue of the connection of the name neutral, that is why despite is doing what he's doing. What does he And I may come fit into the say. It is a woman that will determine parenting starts by pregnancy. And the bear may be no better. Yeah, I think certain women will agree with what you say. Certain women. Yeah. Then the world will still be basa basa if it's just certain women. Every woman should think. I'm saying women who have gone through parenting where it didn't go well for them. And those of you who are coming, who did you the Gen Z generation, the millennium thinkers who don't have future. Hey, we have a future. Oh, no. have that. This fast track yeah. mentality, yeah. human beings. No, no, no. Your no. everything no, is no, fast. Moon ni bibia, moon jim bibia, and I'm happy I've not been like you before. You see, Penny will be in your vida. I'm afraid you'll be here, but you have never been in your generation before where you don't respect everything is fast track for you. You don't know how to cook. You can buy food. Anything you want is on your tip of your finger. You have you are in my generation. There was no Android. There was nothing like tap your finger to see yeah, anything. But, but so your generation is fast track generation. Mm -hmm. So you want to have fast track children, fast track marriages, fast track sex. You don't give respect and recognition to sexual intercourse. Our time, there was value mm -hmm. for sex. I think that's where the parenting comes in. So parenting comes Even in. in the Gen Z generation. That's where parenting comes in. Where parents are going to We don't understand children. you people. Ha. Because we did common entrance and form four. So you see, mm -hmm. for parenting to go well, mm -hmm. the basics are very important. Mm -hmm. How you get pregnant determines the way parenting will go for your child. You can challenge me. You can argue in your home. You can say, and you're not crap. Don't worry. People are coming for you here in the comment section. Because you see, that's why I give you an example. Your mother is somewhere in the village. I, I, the story of Omachi they did, and they say he has a son who is about 40 years. You all heard the story. No. And the woman came to narrate the story. Omachi they did came for a dance 40 years ago. And the woman bought dance new year, and the woman bought a 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 dance new year, and your work ran or two, and I'm much did it. I'm calling you, sir. I'm much did it. I'm much in work, or I'm calling it. And I'll see the side, they see a great deal. Now, my four dear baby, me and she's our friend here. Whatever happens with that, the woman has not forgotten that he has sexual intercourse with the much did it. And I'm much did it is so worthy and always. I'm planning to share any problem. The worst of it is that rather than before, or your bear man. Now, my men I had the say about Fran or two Namachi. And you have seen a copy of the opportunity. But all the loan is so dear, Machi Bema. Value for the future. Oh, a plan. And that's what I would need now, but yeah, Papa, who need the answer. This boy at 40 had a gas to insult the, the father. Really? Yeah. For, for what reason? I because like because debut. Uma uh, miss you a penny. And I can't deal with your mother. Your mother has given you a good start that your father is a matching. Or share who? One share who? Who is your father? So look, a father is not the one who gives love, the one who pays fees. The one no, a father is the sperm donor. No, I disagree. Your disagreement doesn't is, change the truth. A father, aside being given the being the sperm, who not is sperm a father? Like you should show love. You should be there. Oh, for your children you see, you, you are um, making a mistake. Who is a father? A father is a male figure who is there for their child. That the is true. It's not a that, Can you go and check the definition of a father? You are not coming. A father Jay -Z. is not a sperm donor. I'm saying that anybody, a father is the male figure who who. Gave birth to the child. So a man who slept with you and have a child is the male, the male parent of a child. No, that's your daddy. A father is different. What who's the daddy? Your, your, the one you're describing. No, I who's think the daddy? The daddy. A daddy is the one that 
came and had to go into into courts with a woman. And who's the father? Wasn't there. And who's the father? The father is one who is there present physically. Please, a father is the man who that is the it is the male figure of of, of the male figure. Mm. So we have a male and female. So the man who deposited his sperm is the father. Is a father. Oshewo, Otiofiso, when Tiofiso, the DNA that you are working with is this man, Asan. Or your father. Daddy. That daddy, maybe I'm going to find if you hear the meaning. Daddy, you can daddy. You can daddy. Maybe I'm going to find daddy, if you hear the but the American can say, your father. Okay. Okay. And the father mm -hmm. is that one. So nobody works and say that I am a single parent because I am the only one who gave birth to the child. Somebody permitted you. So there's a father. So yeah, don't tell me you're a single the, parent. The was so I was reading something today um, uh, on Instagram. Obobia, a former member of parliament somewhere in the NDC. And the son has, got, has been called to the bar. And she wrote a, an article that she's happy that as a single parent she what she determined for the son is what has happened i i love what she said but i was disappointed why were you disappointed no if you are a single parent and the child is writing the father's name there's no father who is upset to you every father is present in the life of the child as long as the dna is talking when so it's a choice to be a single parent so when you say present, um, do you mean that the DNA of the dad that's right? As you are sitting here, out? you are replacing your father. Are you yeah. Aware? Is your father sitting here? No, he's not. Why I'm you, sitting here. Why you mention your name? What's your name? Adrian. Who is Adrian? My dad. So why are you representing? Adrian. But I'm Priscilla. Oh, I have my own identity. Oh, I, have, hello, I, I hello, have the name. Hello, hello, please. Don't take a You use Jay Z girls and boys. <laughs> you are tickling yourself and laughing. No, 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 no. As you are sitting here, uh -huh. you are representing your father. It's unfortunate that you are a girl, uh -huh. that you can't reproduce for the family. Wait, excuse you. Is, is it unfortunate that you are a woman? So you, can't, can't, really, you can't reproduce for the family. Ah, uh, nothing. Now, you are not a woman. I can't wait to the day. But that doesn't mean that you are a woman. No. You are to the day. Hey, I'm not coming crude. You better today. Me crude. Many days. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. More than that, you can be a father and not a husband. You can be a husband and not a father. Hmm. So we are talking about fathers. Don't force yourself to look for a husband. <laughs> but some people are better off without a husband, but has a baby daddy. Yeah, that's that's another thing. Yeah, I think we should talk about that next time. Gen Z and baby daddies is becoming a yes. trend where people do not really want to do. And it is not our generation that started. Thing. Oh, it started long before. Who was Perez? Do you know Perez in the Bible? Okay, so the young man who spilled the sperm yes, was killed. Yes, 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 yes. His father. You remember his mm -hmm. father? Mm -hmm. You remember his father? Yeah. So Judah, Tamar, his father-in-law, mm -hmm. was so wicked that he says he's waiting for the small boy to grow, to grow up and then marry Tamar. Then Tama heard that the father-in-law was coming to share his goods. Mm -hmm. She changed into a prostitute. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Yeah. Just so that she can get him to have intercourse with him. And the father seriously hits. Can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. Okay. He met the father and allowed the father to sleep with her. He became pregnant. And that's how we have Perez. Uh -huh. So and the lady Tama was determined to have a child from that family and unfortunately used their father. So it's not a Gen Z mentality. Okay. In the olden days, there were women that when they see that a catechist comes into an area, they say, I'm banning that chain a catechist. No, I'm a catechist, no, I'm not. They say, I'm a headmaster. And most of them took this decision. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately for them, uh -huh. Sincerely speaking, some of the children they gave birth with the teachers today are teachers. Some of the catechists today are catechists. <laughs> you see, I will always appreciate my mom. Uh -huh. 
-huh. and salute women. That is why I don't like women empowerment. Because oh, women God. are too powerful to be empowered. Oh, this, this women are that. too powerful to be empowered. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. But sometimes our society makes women feel like they do not have what it takes to be in certain Because you want to compare yourself to a man. Remain a woman. No, I don't think a woman don't compete. Compare. Don't compete with a woman. Compete only with a man. Uh -huh. You see, I want you to learn how to appreciate your mom. Your mother gets pregnant mm -hmm. and delivers you here. Brother, you have a startup. Uh -huh. You have a very good startup. Uh -huh. A very good startup. Uh -huh. A very, very good startup. Mm -hmm. So don't fail your generation. And I mean, me, Papa. And I mean, Papa, you do, brother. Uma, no, but, mini, mo, papa. It, it, no, Uma, mini, mo, papa doesn't mean that um, Uma, mini, mini, mo, papa, and it will naturally transcend to the child. There's so many children who grow up without knowing their dads, who's, and especially who's young girls, it affects them. Whose fault? Whose fault is that? That they don't know their dad. Whose fault that it wasn't there for the child? How? Because if you're having a child, I'm sure you are many people are a catch up fair, I'm pregnant. And if you are having a child, you should be there for the child in all aspects. The first thing is that you do not just you are pregnant for me. You know that I impregnated you. Does the child have a father or not? Yes. Does the child have a father or not? Yes. So what's the problem? So having the father doesn't mean that you are there for the child. And Where am I? You are not there. I am where is your father? Me, my father is dead, but the child. No, is where dead. is your father? The child probably doesn't know where. No, the dad where is. you? Where is your father? My dad is at home. As you are sitting here, yeah, is it easy for us to know who your father is? No. Okay, so yes. No, 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 no but Kasa, you can know. It's not no. You, 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 you are not answering my question. I've answered your no, question. You see, my question. Our problem with parenting and all these errors are that we are refusing to accept the fact that. A father is not the one who puts the child to bed. Mm -hmm. The additional responsibilities that a man chooses to. Once you know that this man impregnated me, he is the father of the child. And he can be absent, but always present. Okay. As you are sitting here, your father is sitting here. Because I said, I guess because you are a woman. That's the only deficiency. Kaza. That the family procreation has ended when your father has have you. So if your father doesn't try to produce a boy, the family has ended. Yeah, and and if, if, okay, the family has ended. However, there's a woman who do not even allow their children to know um uh, the whereabouts of their fathers. So if, you're, if your that, if your mother is refusing to know your father, mm -hmm. then your mother allowed the one to be blamed. Then your mother allowed a roof rat to sleep with it. Oh. <laughs> Counselor, sometimes it's because of how the men have shown that, okay, they are either incapable or they are scared of being fathers and certain reasons. Maybe financially they are not up there to, to be there for the child. So the parents probably Does it change like, me from being the father? No, 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 no. no. You still remain the So father. why won't you show? If you're not proud of sleeping with someone like me, mm -hmm. that is why you're not proud to tell the child who the father is. Or the father was not in the life of the child. Ah, okay. If I'm not in the life of my child, I say as long as I am the father, I am always in the life of the child. No, you're not. Counselor, I beg to disagree. Uh -uh. Um, There are people here. <laughs> this conversation is getting interesting. People are saying yes. Counselor is giving some points. And um, uh, Tina, someone's a counselor, Jibu too. Hey, Auntie Tina, only counselor now. Let, let us know what is it that he said that you agree with. And um, I see people in the comment section. Dorothy says there are some women who do not let the children see their father. See the same thing, Auntie. If you refuse the child from seeing their father, does it change the man that said man not to be a father? It doesn't. So he still has a father. Yeah, but the father. So what do you say? Please. Is the father, do you know the father? 
Do you know who impregnated you? Counselor, counselor, counselor. I'm not, not, not agreeing. Because we do know the father. But he's cheap. he's not there in the life of the Where child. Where is he going so, to? Probably travel. No, who knows? Who so if you travel, him? does it make you know to be a father again? Yes. Do you know how many people are about Abuchi that they've left their kids in Ghana? Or even here in Abuchi, they have kids elsewhere, either out of wedlock or with other women. And they are not they are in the life of the children. Does it mean they are no more the father of those children? It doesn't mean they are no longer the father. However, they are not playing their fatherly role. What is fatherly role? I've said this. And I say what you are saying is an addition to who a father is. The basics are that I am the father of the child. And that is how parenting starts. So being able to, to give a sperm to, into an egg makes you the father. Yes, we get it. However, there are other roles that is attached to that fatherly role. Says it's not who? just pushing the child. Says who? The says society and God. Ah, have to what did God say? God says a man. Did you see what his father in his life? No, you can't. You can't use that analogy. Uh, you can't use that analogy. No. Did no, you see what his father was, in his life? That, that was those times. You oh. Can't use that, that oh. So why you take Moses' blessing, but it's those times. Huh? Menji Moses' blessing. In the Bible, how many children did you see their fathers in their life? Um, David and um, um, uh, Solomon, he was there for Solomon, even with all of his concubines, he was still there for them. Was Job, still there Job for was there for his kids, even though he lost all of them. He was he was rich, he was providing for them. But which other one? Um, Abraham was there for Isaac as a father, he was there. And um, Ishmael, don't forget Ishmael, yeah, Ishmael, yes, yes, so he was a father, well. yes, when That's Ishmael left. Uh -huh. When Ishmael left uh -huh. because of the greed of Sarah, uh -huh. after marrying Hagar, and Hagar did what she can do uh -huh. and sack Ishmael and the, the, and that's the a man. Debate for another day. What is that? that, that that's a debate for another day. Uh, but you, are you aware that Hagar Sarah, was not Hagar was, was not was not no, she was not a side chick, she was a wife. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, you don't actually know? married her. I gave you that scripture the last year when uh, I told. Yeah, you did. However, there are other versions that showed that um, other so there are different versions. Well, versions. There's only one version, the NIV is original manuscript. So don't forget about the King James. Okay. And the There's rest. a question so, here for you. <laughs> Be before I let you go, um, Dorothy Kujo has a question for counselor. Go ahead. She says, Counselor. Hey, she says counselor is right. He will always be the father. Technically, there are many other roles of the father. Thank you for agreeing that there are also many other rules. But the first basic thing is that he is a father. There's no absent father in anybody's life. Mm -hmm. The father can be absent, but mm -hmm. present. Mm -hmm. Keep that in your head. Okay. It is, oh, I, I agree with you. Being wow, 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 yes, when it when it have a father, father, you are the father. However, you cannot neglect other rules. What do you call Which neglect? Take paying, paying school fees, mm -hmm. um, tuition, um, feeding the children, um, being there for them mentally, being there for them spiritually as well. All these are roles of a father. You can't just say, say, my forget my forget to say, I'm your father. That's it. No. These are there are other things that you have to also play a role because mothers do not do that. Mothers do not say that because no, they are there for them. They nurture the children. They breastfeed. They teach them. They bring them. Um, they we are going to talk about time. No. And I mean, my so then, what makes a mother? Because I'm going to talk about time. Uh -huh. And I mean, my lineage. It's in my lineage. I'm going to talk about time. And I could call back time and in bed in a chair. I would say I could call bear man and in bed in a chair. Bear man, you Jimmy for and your bar air to think. But you can never tell anybody I'm a single parent. Stop that statement. That is why we are bad parenting in the society. Counselor, go to social media. Single parenting is something that is there. Why and if there is a father? Because these men are not playing their roles. <laughs> and sometimes vice versa. The women do not want to be mothers. Gosh, I just want to disagree with you. Okay. If, you, if you have a child with me and I take the child away from you, mm -hmm. does it change you from being the mother of the child? No. Can we get the basics right? My argument is that the basis is not we are 
our 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 argument has been flawed, flawless. It has fallen flat, mm -hmm. and we can't raise the children because we have refused to recognize that there are fathers in their life. Oh, okay. If, if that that I agree with you that at some um, not even at if you raise a child with the pain that over pain you over pain when jaw, it doesn't mean only papa. But you are destroying the fiber of the child. Mm -hmm. I come, I, I had a child, mm -hmm. and the girl I had a child with has written the father's name name for my son. Yeah, that, that, I don't agree with that. Oh, what do you do? You are right. We'll see. Oh, what do you do? What's your name? No, what do you do? What do you do? What do you do? What do you do? And you are the responsible woman to have sexual intercourse with me. That you know my name. I am called Lutrot. So once I give birth to a child with you, I don't even come. And you know I impregnate. Mm -hmm. Every woman knows the father of the child. And I give birth to you and give the birth the child uh, on Tuesday. You just give the child George Lutrot. Like as much in the days a uh, 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 thing happened. But you are behaving as if once I don't pay fees, once I don't buy clothes, I am not a father. Says who? Then any man can go about in the street and just be popping babies and calling themselves fathers. Because it's not that... calling themselves. It is by virtue of what they have done. My sister, there are men who are living in a posh house mm -hmm. for 12 years, man. They've not been able to become a father. They're only husbands. The three dimension of a human being. Mm -hmm. You are a man. Then you make a mistake of becoming a husband by marriage and impregnate a woman and becomes a father by childbirth. But I repeat this thing every day. You can be a father and not a husband. So can you be a husband and not a father? Mm -hmm. So women listening to me, don't die if your father, the man you are living with is taking care of the children and neglecting your responsibility. He's just a father and not a husband. But nobody can replace a father in your life. Whether he pays fees, he doesn't pay fees. He's still a father. All right, folks. Um, you heard it from the man himself, Pastor Lutrot, that whether he pays fees or he doesn't pay fees, he is still a father. So I'm going to allow him to give us his last few words on this particular topic. I think next time we're going to bring that here and more people because bring the whole woman don't worry bring the whole so, woman in the yeah. so counselor give us um, a few of your last words and let's take it from here so our conversation is straightforward i want to do parenting yeah. what is proper parenting the effect of proper parenting but we have started from the basics mm -hmm. next week god willing or any other day next week we will come and dive into proper parenting yeah. but if you've forgotten the conversation parenting starts from pregnancy so if you're watching me, you're a woman. You're watching me, you are a man. Don't just impregnate just anything. Remember the three forms of pregnancy. Plan, unplan, unwanted. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So if you want to have a future for your child properly, either by virtue of the family the child will have to live in, make sure the man you are having unprotected sex with you will love to write the name of that man. Not as a wife, even as a baby man. If you love the future of your child, you will give that child a better father. Remember, it's not about the fees paid, but it's about whose DNA is running in the life of that child. Parenting begins from pregnancy. So girls, boys, women, hear this. Don't give in to sex if you are not prepared. Mm -hmm. Immediately you see that you are not prepared for the outcome of an ejaculation. Plan not to receive it. I don't know if you'll be here next week watching me. But if you want to learn how to parent a child, Let's have a talk. 862-571-3950. 862-571-3950.
if you have told any child that you are the only one taking care so you are a single parent, please, it's destroying the future of the child. It's becoming too much in our world. That everybody's writing a story. Today I watch a video, they say this woman is working as a maid servant in Lebanon and has worked her life and today he has raised a son and the son is a pilot. And for the first time he was entering into Ethiopian airline, the son comes with a bouquet of flowers and everybody's writing, oh, the toil of a woman, the toil of a woman. Hey, hear me, oh. If there's a man in this country called America, who is the father of your child? And he's living, eating, drinking. Please, let him pay for child support. Child support is not a punishment. It's a reminder of knowing how to do your responsibilities. For the God that we worship says, a man who cannot take care of his family is worse than an unbeliever. Stop that pride. That superhero woman, Nick, and I will take care of the child for him to see what the child will become. Yeah, Jimmy. No man can meet the total needs of any woman. But let a man, once it's a life, please let him pay for child support. Let him be responsible as Shigega is looking for. But never deny a child of knowing that he has a father and you are not the only person. Even if the man who impregnated you died, remember, Ejebiwa, Ejebitiasi, no woman impregnated herself. So there is a father in your life. A father can be absent, but always present because of the DNA. Thank you for watching. Sorry if you are angry, but my apology is not going for you. It's going for the child you have lied to, that he doesn't have a father. I am the father of the child. Let the child know how useless I am. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Listen, people, it's been an amazing time right here in the studios with Counselor Lucio. And um, Charlie, what can I have? I have nothing else to say here. You said it all. So we're just gonna let it slide for tonight. And um please thank you all for tuning in right here on the Dean Cotton Hall TV. And the time is 8:30 p.m. New York City. Wherever you are, we say good morning, good night, good evening, good afternoon, wherever from the world you're watching us. We say thank you so much for staying tuned. Um, God richly bless you for joining us this time. All our Facebook people, 200 and 70 people that stream, and also from Councillor Lutrous on the Facebook Live. Please, he said his numbers right there. Please do not forget to reach out to him if you do need a um, counseling of any type. Oh, yes, any once you want counseling online, remember 862 571 3950. And if you want ginger honey chips, please remember you want ginger honey chips 862 215 2007. The winter is here. Order yours now, please. Order it now and it will come to your doorstep. A62-215-2007. Let me wish you a happy birthday. We've entered, Agana has entered into a new day, yeah. 21st. Yeah. Yeah. Happens to be the birthday celebration of um, Josephine and I are at the Immigration Service of Ghana. Today happens to your birthday. I use this opportunity to wish you a happy birthday, longevity of life, good health, grow in beauty, and be that sweet woman that you've always been. Happy birthday, Josephine Baby. Thank you. Ah, that's right. That's right. Indeed, happy, happy birthday to you, Madame Josephine Baby. Thank you. Thank you. So it's been an amazing time with you all. Again, it's 8 30 right here in New York City, um, right here in the deep rap multimedia. I was here live with the man himself, Counselor Lutra. So the song playing is Joyce Blessing Victory. Stay blessed, lovely people, and no sex. Wedding for you and me. Bye bye. All right. Thank you all very much for joining me. Juliet, you're wondering, it's almost 4 a.m. Okay, people. Okay. You're off. Step off. Oh, oh. So what you yeah. All right. Okay. Oh, you want to say something? No, else? no, no. It's okay. Oh. I'm talking to my people here to wrap up. Ah. So
So Juliet, uh, Juliet says, please, is your wife? Oh, no, I'm hearing really questions from your side. Oh, there are a lot came. Oh, wives are you in, is your wife is your wife with you in the US? Yes. <laughs> and then what again? Uh, ginger honey chips. Nikki, thank you for writing for me. A six two two one five two zero zero seven. Thank you. That's the ginger honey chips number. And you say why have we ended so early? Oh, Charlie, you say thirty. Hey, one night. 30. We are supposed to start early, right? It's mm -hmm. really Kafra, why? Right? Enjoy it. We'll come back and do parenting. But if you want to have a child, please remember that you need to chalk well. Look for the right man to impregnate you. Think of the future of your child. Think for the future of your child. Why? I don't say. Most of you, ma, who ma me abreast sabe who you as a who Jimmy Jai Jimmy and why? Who Jimmy kura do do kuru? Who ma me abreast sabe who wah? You are still blaming her for what? It is money now. Good night. Good morning. Good evening. I'll see you again by the grace of God tomorrow. Thank you for joining me. TikTok, thank you for coming. I know you are stressed, but I'm a Kwabaga. Counselor, please come to Chicago. I'll come to Chicago. Don't worry. I can't. Will you host me when I come to Chicago? If you host me, I'll come. Come and spend two days. You have a radio station and you have a Dinkra at, at Chicago? Oh, yes, you host me. Okay, so pick my number and then please holler me. You have my number already. Is there 862-571-3950. Okay, thank you very much. So we are good to go now. I've got somebody. So I'm coming to Chicago. I've not been there before. I'm coming oh, to Chicago, fine. all right? Because I've got somebody to host me in Chicago. Good night to all of you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you so much. Ginger Honey Chips has been the main sponsor of this show I had with you today. Thank you, Ginger, for your support. Good night. Bye-bye. <laughs> I hope you can hear the sound of what I'm chewing. It's nothing but it's ginger honey chips. Ginger honey chips. Now in the United States of America. Everywhere you want. 862-215-2007. You can chew it like this, or better still, put it on your cocoa, rice water, oatmeal. You can put it in your aquadashi, your whiskey, your brandy, anything you want to put it on it. It's so nice. <laughs> so nice, nice, nice. <laughs> oh my god. Ginger honey chips, 862. Two and five, two zero zero seven, eight six two, two and five, two zero zero seven. Is your ginger honey chips? Get one for yourself. Ten dollars, free to go. Enjoy yourself. Thank you.